Hello everybody. Today we're going to look at an interesting plant called the Rose of Jericho. And the second name is called the Dinosaur Plant. And do you know what Jayla? This has also got a third name called the Resurrection Plant. Now, you know what resurrection means. Tell everybody at home. Resurrection means coming back to life. Fantastic stuff. Now, Jayla, what do we have here today? The Rose of Jericho. We do. And we have two, two balls. Indeed. And a water. We do have some water here. Now, Jayla. You, you told me some interesting things about this plant before. And where is this plant's habitat? Its habitat is in the hot, dry desert. Now, guys, just a little bit of information for you at home. This Rose of Jericho, guys, um, bundles around in the desert in the hot, dry winds. And what happens? This can live. And here is a fun fact, guys. For 50 years without having a drop of water. Now, that's really, really interesting. Now, guys, the word to sleep for 50 years is a word that we call dormant, everybody at home. Dormant means that it's sleeping, but it's still alive. Isn't that just great? Like what you just said earlier, the resurrection. Now, let's move forward and get on and place these in, and then we can tell everybody at home all about it. Now, Jayla's already getting ourselves sorted here. Now, let me just tell everybody at home, we have a smaller Rose of Jericho. Can you show it there? And then we have a larger Rose of Jericho. Now guys, have a look at this. You'll see it has roots. And then we have, it's, it looks rather fern-like, but guys, it's in the family of moss. So what we're gonna be doing together is we're gonna be placing these into the center. Now guys, there is an extra step. You could rinse these off, but that's if you want to. It's not necessary. But what are we gonna now do with this water jailer? I'm going to look, I'm gonna pour this into the smaller one here. You can see I'm just gonna go up just a little way up there so it doesn't overfill and you're gonna, and Jayla's gonna do the same with hers. Dad? Yes? Is it going to... You can, you can put all of the water in there. Beautiful. Is it going to grow after we just, if we watch for a few minutes? Now, I like the question you've asked. Now, guys, at home, this could take around two to three hours to begin to open. Now, sometimes, Jayla, it can take a little longer, all depending. Now, what it is, guys, at home, this is something that you've got to look out for. If it does open and you don't see any green, it means, unfortunately, the Rose of Jericho is dead. But if you do see some green in there, where the chlorophyll is in abundance, then it is alive, and that, everyone, is what we are going to be looking for. We'll see you all in 24 hours. Now guys, it's been 24 hours and we've got this fantastic change. Jayla, tell everyone at home what changes you have seen. And now, what is the changes? The change, it is green! Which means it's what? Alive! Luckily! Indeed, everyone at home. So guys, sometimes you can get some of these Rosa Jerichos that will open up, but they will stay brown. It means that they are dead, unfortunately. But we're quite lucky that both of ours are alive. We don't want to keep our Rose of Jericho in these kinds of containers. Now, Jayla, show everybody at home what we are going to be doing. A heavy bowl of pebbles. Lovely. And 
water. Now, what is special about this water, guys? What we've done, we've used the tap water, but we've allowed it to aerate and also to um, for the chlorine to just to settle down. So here we go. Now, what are we going to do? Go ahead, Jayla, and pour that in. I'm sure we can pull the whole thing in. There we go, keep going. And that's it, that's fine. Lovely. Now, what Jayla's going to do, she's going to place the Rose of Jericho, making sure that the roots are submerged so that the water is then taken up by our lovely plants. Go ahead. Lovely. And there we go, let's just move, let's just make this more central. And there we go. Let's move these to the side. I'm gonna place that over there to the side. Now guys at home, doesn't this look fantastic? It's beautiful, isn't it Jayla? Yes. Lovely, so now guys at home, if you want to go and buy yourself a Rose of Jericho, the details are going to be below and you too, can grow this very easy resurrection plant at home. Hey, isn't that going to be exciting for people at home, Jayla? Yeah, it's going to be more exciting than us being excited. Well, there we go. I think I'm excited anyway, everybody. So there we go. All right then, everyone. Now, guys, thank you for watching. And if you liked it, what should people do at home, Jayla? Like it, you want to see more?